Hello everyone, it's Aaliyah here. Today we're playing episode. We are now on episode eight. Isn't that crazy? So if you haven't watched the other ones, totally check them out in the description. A lot has happened, so you might want to recap yourself. But if you're up to date, well, last we saw was Christian kissing Natalie. Oh, and Natalie's the worst person in the world. We hate her. We want to punch her. She deserves to be... That's a little far, but yeah, you get my point. It's getting pretty juicy in here, so let's get started. No! Don't show me again. I don't want to see. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I throw up. I stayed there, hidden in the shadows, watching them kissing. A sharp pain shoots my heart. Bro, and he just was like cute with us. I wanted to walk away. I wanted the scene to end, but my legs did not obey. It can't be. <gasps> oh, don't cry, honey. Only when I felt a salty taste in my mouth, I realized I was crying. When did things change so much between us? Oh, she's mad. No. Be brave. Um, yeah! You! How could you? <gasps> They're both stunned. I cannot believe you. You kept saying you only wanted me and look at you. You sticking your tongue in her mouth the first chance you got. Can we talk this out? Things are not how. No! Stay away from me. Oh yeah, girl power. Frick you. And the freaking Natalie bit. Christian! There's no point running after her. This is none of your business. Free my hand at once. He's mad. Aw. What the? Uh, the girl. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, I appreciate her for, you know. Where's he? Oh, she's not in her room. Where the hell is she? I'm running away. I'm going home, bro. <laughs> Have you seen Christian? No, but Natalie, did you see Anna just now? She ran out into the storm. Anna? No, why would she go out in this weather? I don't know, it seems strange. Maybe you misunderstood. Look, even if you did see her, it's probably nothing. Anna can be dramatic sometimes. Let's not blow it out of proportion. Let's not create unnecessary drama. If Anna wants to be alone in the storm, let her. It's her choice. She's evil. Look how evil she is. She knows she's evil. Has anyone seen Anna? Oh my gosh, are they gonna lie to him? Tell the truth, tell the truth, come on, you know you saw. No. No, she's gonna follow Natalie's lead. <gasps> so she shook her head. Oh, they're evil. The wind howls, drowning out any sound of civilization. I was completely alone. I had no idea where I was, nor how much time had passed. I'm just walking. But with every passing second, my steps became labored as the snow beneath me deepens. My breath falters as the cold penetrates my clothing. It seeps into my bones and my limbs will feel heavy. My vision blurs as the relentless snow stings my face. <gasps> Until my legs are so heavy, I can't stand straight. But I refuse to quit. I refuse to die. With every bit of power I have left in my body, I push forward. But each step becomes harder and harder. I need to keep going. I need to. I passed out. The world around me becomes a white void. The only sound I can hear is my fainting heartbeat. My vision starts blurring. My eyelids become heavy and it's impossible to keep my eyes open. Oh my gosh, I'm like dying right now. Girls, please try to remember this is important. I think I saw her go outside. Outside? Why would she? I didn't think much of it at first, but I saw her run out alone in the storm. Mm-hmm. Christian's eyes widen, a mix of fear, anger, flickering them, blah blah blah. What? You saw her go out alone in this weather? You didn't think it was a big deal? I didn't realize it was that bad outside. I thought she needed some air or something. You thought? She could be in serious trouble out there, and you thought? I need to find her. Oh, he's serious about me. He's like angry at them. Anna! Please let me find her before it's too late. Oh yeah, dude. Go, go, go. Find me. Oh. Did he find me? <gasps> he did, he did. No. Anna, wake up. Please, babe, wake up. I blinked against the snowflakes, my eyes adjusting to the wintry surroundings. Christian? You're okay. God, you're okay. 
What? What happened? You ran into the storm. I found you here, unconscious. Should I say it's all your fault? I don't know. <laughs> it kind of is. I'm mad. You remember? I'll be cute and then we can be petty later, maybe. I'm sorry. We need to find a safe place to spend the night. The snowstorm is getting wild. I... I don't feel my legs. Don't worry, Anna. Where are we going? Oh my gosh, he's my hero. I've got you. This is intense. Look at him. <gasps> he doesn't even need to hold me. He's magic. <laughs> he carried me into the snowstorm. Oh, we're alone in a cabin. We need to get you out of the wet clothes. Oh, we're gonna get naked and okay. Ooh, ooh, getting hot. Ooh, a nice fireplace. I'm ready. Girth. <gasps> Checking me out. Nothing he hasn't seen though. It looks like we're stuck here for the night. Yeah, seems that way. <laughs> She's so cold. The fire will soon get you warm, but I can also think of some other ways to keep you warm. Spend the whole night with Christian and keep each other warm, of course. Oh, I can definitely think of a few ways. We sat on the floor in front of the fireplace, both enveloped in a blanket. Oh, look how cute we are! Stop! I pressed my body against his, attempting to keep each other warm. I could hear his heartbeat racing like crazy. Our eyes met. We both knew there were so many things unsolved. Facts. We gotta talk it out. You confronted them, so now Christian will explain what happened. Good. Natalie was the one who kissed me, alright? Yeah, I kind of knew that. She caught me completely off guard. Really? As I said before, this is part of the show. I know it's not an excuse, but these things are sometimes, you know. Hmm. Can't you just be with me? <laughs> this would practically mean canceling the show, and it's not an option. I've signed a contract. Besides, do you know how many people would lose their jobs? You're right. I understand it's, it's complicated. To be honest, after our last fight, I thought maybe... Maybe you weren't interested anymore. I've been distant, I know, but it's because seeing you with Natalie made me unsure. I've been trying to guard myself. You seemed distant and I thought, I thought maybe you weren't interested anymore. I didn't want to play a game where you didn't want me to be in it. I didn't mean to push you away. I was just confused. I understand and I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. Yeah, better be. I care about you, Anna, more than just the game. OMG, I care about you too, Christian. He fixed his gaze on me. His eyes spoke louder than any word. So did mine. I wanted him badly. Stop, he needed me urgently. Um, what's gonna happen? The next thing I knew, he smashed his lips on mine. Another smashing of lips. <laughs> <laughs> he loves smashing those lips, huh? Every time he kisses me, I find myself craving more. I want you so bad, it's so hard to control myself. Um, I don't have enough, but you know the vibes. Okay, we did it. Go all the way with Christian. Then don't. It's against the rules. F the rules. My words cracked the last piece of resistance. Ooh. I didn't realize how or when we ended up in this single bed. All I knew was that I was desperate to feel him. I did what I was dying to do since the first time I laid eyes on him. I touched his chest, his masculine, well-defined chest that made my thoughts go wild. <laughs> Without breaking our kiss, I flipped him, trying to take control, then dug my nails in his back. Oh, kinky. With a sudden move, he flipped me back, regaining the control. He so much desired. I want you so bad. My body, my head, F, my whole existence is craving for you. Our bodies tangled like we were destined to be together. His kisses set my whole body on fire. Then the world faded away. Aww. Exhausted, we fell asleep in the crack of dawn. Finally, I understood how it feels to be in love. The next morning, Christian was not beside me. Um. Oh. Rise and shine, beautiful. Stop. How do you get in food? How? I went out to pick up some fresh fruits and vegetables. I combined them with what I found in the cabin, and voila! Aw, that's so romantic. I guess share the breakfast with them. Let's eat together. But I made it for you. And I want to share it with you. He's like, 
You're amazing, Anna. Do you know that? You're quite the chef, aren't you? Well, I aim to impress. <laughs> oh, that food looks so good, though. This is delicious! See, I told you I have many secret talents. The snowstorm is over. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is. I wish we didn't have to leave. Me too. I tangled my hand in his. Aw, oh, it's like we're like living together. And just Oh, it's cute. Are you ready to go back to reality? I am. Oh, let's see the mess Natalie decides to do. We're back. Everyone's like, yay. <laughs> the only one that didn't come up was Natalie. Anna, are you okay? We were all so scared. Girls, why don't we let Anna take a shower and calm down? Thank God they both came back safe and sound. I feel so bad I know this is partly my fault. Well, we all got so worried the snowstorm was intense. See what Natalie has to say. Anna is such an intention seeker. I bet she did it on purpose. Well, I'm sorry I put everyone in trouble. As soon as I ended up alone in my room, I realized how exhausted I was. Oh, who's this? Just when I thought I'd find some peace. Come in. Oh. God, you scared me to death. Olivia seems genuinely worried. Hug her back. Olivia plus one, whatever that means. It's over now. Are you okay? It was a bit overwhelming, but I'm fine. When I realized you were missing in the storm, I was terrified. I'm sorry I got you scared. It was chaotic. Don't apologize. I'm just relieved you're safe. And Christian? Christian was supportive. He helped me through it. I bet he did. Olivia! Relax. I'm only teasing you, but she's right. We literally in that cabin. <laughs> we basically claimed Christian as ours already, though. If only it worked like that, but no, no, for some reason it doesn't. What should we wear today? We'll wear this. Christian was wearing something like that earlier, so. Okay, we're all chit and chatting. And here I am. They decide to throw a little party for my return. Really? That's cute. Who would have thought they'd be so happy to have you back? Why, do I have a feeling you're behind this? Aw, he threw a little party. So do you like it? Well, I love it. It's such a sweet move. Can we talk? I'll give you some space. Ugh, does this girl feel really guilty? I wanted to properly apologize. I saw you go outside and I did nothing. Yeah, it's whatever. It's not like we're besties. If I had stopped you, if I had talked sooner, then none of this would have happened. This little adventure was the reason Christian and I solved our misunderstanding facts and we kind of... <laughs> I'll say, I know you didn't mean bad. Plus, it was my fault too. I shouldn't have run outside alone. You know, when I saw you run outside, I thought about talking to Christian. But Natalie said I shouldn't. So she wanted me out of the way. Interesting. Thank you for telling me, Aurora. I appreciate it. I mean, how is that like shocking? What the? Sit down. Hey. Oh yeah, drinking our wine. Getting turnt. I had always been the workaholic, nerdy girl who avoided parties like the plague, but as the night progressing, I couldn't help but truly enjoy myself. Hey, hey, until, oh no. Everything went black. The electricity went out. I can't see anything. And what about the heat? We'll freeze to death. There's no reason to panic. Everything is under control. There's a room in the rooftop for cases like this. Don't be scared and please follow me. Oh my gosh, the art thief. <gasps> oh, I was about to follow them when I realized something important. Everyone would be gathered in the rooftop so the house would be empty. The power was off, meaning the cameras were not recording. And most importantly, my absence would go unnoticed. This was perfect. I don't know about that. Everyone seems to like notice you. Uh, Search for rooms, of course. Oh, what is this? Pick which room you want to search. Let's search Natalie's definitely because she's a B word. Might as well get some dirt. I found a calendar in her suitcase. Okay, what's it say? She's very punctual with her no, but there are some unexpected gaps during big periods of time. Some of them match the time frame past our thefts have occurred. Could this mean something or just be a coincidence? Let's try. Um, Anna's room. I searched Anna's room, tucked away in a drawer. I found a necklace. Necklace with a key. Wait, I wonder what it could possibly open. Okay, that's a little sus, right? I mean, it could be for style, but also to get into rooms. I don't know. A little sus. I feel like I don't know any of these girls. Lisa, she didn't like us, or I don't know. Something about Lisa. Okay, let's see. While browsing in the drawer, I found a pile of letters. 
Ooh, written in foreign language or could it be coded messages? Okay, that's sus. I wonder what's so important that she decided to keep coded information and if there's any link to the thefts. Facts, that's a little sus. Who was that? Lisa, that was Lisa. Um, I know this girl we talked a little bit. This girl, I have no idea. So I kind of want to search her room. I searched Mia's room. Stashed beneath a pile of clothes, I found an old postcard. Okay, this handwriting is difficult, uh, but it seems to contain valuable information about a specific art gallery in Paris. Could this mean something or is it a coincidence? Okay, we searched everyone. I found a lot of interesting things I need. I better go back before anyone notices my absence. We were a real detective there. Okay, what's that poppin', guys? Oh, Natalie's always up in front, right next to him. Phew! No one noticed my absence. Finally, the electricity came back on. Awesome. Oh, the girls, like, ran out. I was about to go back to my room as well when Christian grabbed my waist. Meet me in the hot tub. Ooh! <laughs> so when everyone fell asleep... Oh, I... That's a cute bikini, girl. You came. Never doubt my craziness. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to laugh at him. We should have been spies with this level of secrecy. Um, oh. It adds a touch of adventure, don't you think? Then, without waiting for an invitation, I decided to join him. This feels so forbidden. I know, but tomorrow we're going back and I couldn't resist the urge to share this moment with you. Oh! If anyone catches us here, we're done for. Then we better pray we're invisible tonight. <laughs> the way we're so chill. God, I've missed your laugh. I've missed you. Natalie's gonna catch us. I swear she is. I'm scared for that moment because we're gonna get kicked off. Frashed his lips on mine. I willingly gave him access. His tongue brushed mine, hesitantly at first. Yet as the kiss deepened, it became demanding, leaving me crave for more. <sighs> when the kiss ended, we were both breathless. God, that was hot. May I confess something? I didn't like it when we didn't talk. It felt off. Ah, being distant from you, it didn't sit right with me. I missed our conversations, our moments. I missed you. Omri, this is so sweet. I really have to pay to admit that I missed him as well and set the night on fire. I guess we're gonna pay, but I felt the same way. It was unsettling not having you around. There's something about you, Anna. I feel like I can be myself around you, and that's rare. It's like you understand me in ways I didn't expect. I felt it too. You make me question things I never knew. Damn, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm making you fall in love. You know we're screwed if anyone finds out. You're worth every bit of risk. We spent our last night in the Alps together, lost in our little world. Heart versus head, one to zero. <laughs> that's funny. Too bad tomorrow we had to go back. Yeah, that's too bad. Good evening, ladies and gents. The Bachelor and the girls are back from their trip. A lot of things unfolded during this weekend. Unfortunately, one girl will have to go back home. Natalie! Natalie! Christian, are you ready to announce your decision? I'm ready. Don't leave us hanging. Do tell us. Oh, is it going to cut off? Aurora, you're out. What? Is this because of what happened with Anna? It's because I didn't appreciate the way you handled things. I understand. Good luck, everyone. Um. I guess. Oh my gosh. Christian misses everything, huh? Like, he doesn't realize Natalie was, like, telling her. Ugh. They just informed me from the control that we just received some last-minute news. Let us the footage. Um, we're caught. We're caught. We're caught. Christian and Anna? No, they just ratted us out like that? Anna, please come forward. Crab. Hey, this is adding spice. I'm helping you guys. It's kind of boring. This, like, game and the rules. Anna, you broke the rules. Based on the show regulations, I have to other choice but to expel you. Whatever. Actually, that sucks for us. OMG, you got expelled? Now what? Keep reading to find out.
This is like so bad for us. So bad. Hey guys, we need to find the art thief. This is bigger than the stupid show. There was cameras just filming everywhere, huh? We should have known. Well guys, if you want more of this, totally hit that subscribe button and like button down below. Ah, this is stressful. At least this episode, we got less of Natalie because Natalie is so annoying. And every time she's in the episodes too much, I get whew, stressed. Also, if you haven't played this game, comment down below who you think the art thief is. No spoilers, please. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. You guys have a great day or night and peace out.